Autodesk Inventor 2018.2 has addressed several customer requested enhancements, and I'm excited to demonstrate them here in this video. Starting with the measure command, earlier this year we introduced the measure tool with one button for all types and utilized the panel for a great new interface and experience. In this release, we have additional capabilities for accumulated measure. Select values from within the panel to determine the total length or area for selected objects. Notice the history provides the option to delete selections if necessary, or hide the history to reduce scrolling in the browser. Once again, this isn't just for sketch geometry or edges. It can also be used to measure the total area of selected faces. Every value in the panel has the option to add it to the history. As usual, the dual unit column is customizable and can be turned on and off as needed. Have you ever had a sketch change shape when adding the first dimension? This can happen when the sketch is initially made too large or too small. Now check the box to scale the sketch on the initial dimension, ensuring the geometry maintains its original shape. No more dragging sketch entities around only to get back to where you started. And speaking of sketches, sometimes they are needed to refer to when creating other features in the design. Now show existing sketches by selecting the face of a feature. There is an option to toggle the visibility of a sketch on and off in the 2D Sketch Mini toolbar. Let's take a look at enhancements made to assemblies. Ground and Root now opens a dialog and presents separate options to users who don't want to do all three. In this case, we chose the body of the BAC Mono, ground it at the origin, reposition it to the top of the browser, and create flush constraints. Autodesk Inventor does a great job enabling users to create, view, and edit constraints in assemblies. And we realize there are times when even suppressed constraints need to be edited. Not a problem in Inventor 2018.2. Change any suppressed constraint to apply a distance or even change the type of constraint from flush to an angle. Chamfers have been available as assembly features in previous releases. The preview has been approved, making it easier to visualize it before applying it to the model. For many designers, the Content Center creates a significant portion of the components needed for their design. And the search tool is paramount to efficiently finding the correct part number. The interface will assist in the hunt, but what if you already know a portion of the part number? Use the drop-down to look for members. Type in what you know and find the member immediately. Get the parts you need faster than ever. Moving on to drawings, hatch patterns are sometimes needed even outside of section views. There has always been the ability to create them. Now Inventor 2018.2 enables multi-selection to add and edit hatch patterns on closed loop sketches. And finally, exporting your designs as an image is a great feature for placing a view in a PowerPoint or Word document. Many times, the second step is to edit the image and replace the background with transparency. And that only works if the background is a single color. Now select Transparent Background to do that step for you upon save. Thank you again to the users who have taken the time to share your ideas with the Inventor team and collaborate on suggestions for the Inventor 2018.2 release.